everybody, I am Husky Light. Thank you for stopping by. Right, I have got your June 2016 monthly readings for you. Just a quick reminder, it's not uh, applicable to everybody. Sometimes your moon or your rising sign might make more sense for you to you for a particular month. So please check those out as well. I've heard that that happens sometimes, um, though I've not personally checked it out myself, but it does happen sometimes. Also, all the Vimeo video extra psychic messages for June are all listed below in the information section. So if you'd like to click on one of those, it's just $3.99 um, for your extra messages. Go and check those out. If you would like a private reading from me, please click up on the link in the corner. Um, I'd love to get you booked in and do a reading for you. I do twin flame relationship readings, normal relationship readings, Celtic crosses, angel messages, all sorts of things. Also, the offer is still going on, even though I've not got it up because I just haven't had time to do it yet, um, for the healing and clearing sessions on Skype with me, one-to-one, -one, um, get help with awakening symptoms, twin flames, just about anything really, uh, for a half hour session, it's just $25, um, and again, in, uh, please email me for that one, info at huskylight.com, that information is also below. And I just want to say thank you so, so much for subscribing to me. I am really um, staggered, really, <laughs> and taken aback a bit sometimes by the um, by the amount of growth that, that my channel has um, in such a short amount of time. So thank you so, so much. Um, this is going at the beginning of all your videos for this month. Um, I Because it's June, uh, first of all, I've got, I'm using my new cards this month. The, the Gilded Tarot Pack uh, by Sarah Marchetti. Um, so that's really good. And if you just stick around a little bit longer after your reading, I'll be drawing a card for each month for the rest of the year up to December, just so that we can get a quick overview of what's going on. So all that being said, here's your reading. Enjoy. I love you loads. Uh, namaste. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hi Scorpio, this is your June 2016 reading. Stick around at the end. I'm going to pull another six cards um, and just a, a general overview of what's going to go on between July and December. Um, but let's get into June for you. Right, starting off with the six of wands. I'll try and hold the cards up for you because it's such a new pack so you can see the pictures. Um, six of wands is saying there's some sort of success. There's some sort of breakthrough coming for you that you come out successfully I feel like a breakthrough in maybe you've been studying or researching something that you haven't you're not really getting your head around and you can't quite understand it and then there's this suddenly there's this breakthrough there's this aha moment when you go oh I've got it I know exactly what that is now I understand it now I can work it out this could be a spiritual awakening for some of you I feel as well um this month that's coming through quite strongly and that doesn't that's not this is not usually the sort of card that this comes through with but for some of you this is some sort of spiritual breakthrough coming through it can also apply to success in divorces success in getting that job being recognized for the hard work and effort that you put into something whether that be a relationship or whether that be your home life, a job, a project, just getting that pat on the back and saying, yeah, we recognize that you're working really hard and this is really good and well done. This is that sort of card. But I honestly feel it's like some sort of, <sighs> some breakthrough in your thought processes or breakthrough in some sort of spiritual thing that's going on for you. Um, having a almost um, a breakthrough in a belief system seems to come through. Your crossing card is the magician, so this can work to or against you, depending on whether you embrace it. If you don't embrace the challenge of the magician, then you won't be able to see the wonder in anything. You won't realize that you can make things happen. You won't be able to look around you and see the magic of things so you could be feeling 
even though you've got this success, you've got this breakthrough, you've got what you wanted, you've got an understanding of something, it's almost, I don't really know if I want it now or I can't quite see what the bloody attraction was in the first place. Um, so it's just, again, that's a really strange message for the magician to be coming out with, but I think as a challenge card, that would be the way I would I would take it. That would be the way you've got success, you've got things coming through, things are happening for you, um, and yet you're not you can't see the satisfaction. It's almost like you can't see the satisfaction in it. You can't see the beauty around you. You can't see the blessings that are being bestowed upon you. Obviously, if you embrace the challenge card, then you can embrace all of that. Embrace the magic of things around you. Embrace the fact that you can, you've got the, the power and the magic just about to do anything that you want. Have that, you can make things happen. Um, you have made things happen or you are going to make things happen during the month for yourself we've got the two of cups just in the past position so this is a relationship the meeting of two minds they're getting on fantastically together the um i'm in love i'm dating i'm i i want to marry you and have your babies sort of card it's the perfect um perfection card it's the perfect union of two people now it doesn't have to be romantic this can be also um a business proposition where you're working alongside your boss or you're working with a partner on um on some sort of project or anything and you've got exactly the same ideas you're on the same wavelength you're working towards the same goal and um, there's a lot of ne negotiation between you, a lot of balance coming in for you, a lot of respect between the two of you. Everything, everything has been going good in the recent past for you. It could even be a union with yourself where you're just feeling really self-confident and um, having that self-confidence within yourself. And that, that goes into this, the recent past. So I don't know what's going on here because we've got success here. But for some of you, you're not really going to recognize the success with the magician. That's your challenge is to, to take the blessings that are going to be given to you this month. Remember to see them and take them in your conscious position. We've got the two of pentacles. So I think you're very busy or it's going to be a busy month this month you are aware of that maybe you're socially busy maybe you're busy at work maybe you're busy juggling finances trying to keep um a balance on everything um maybe there's some financial decisions that you're making this month that you're thinking about um you're, you're very much being kept on your toes with this card um money maybe there's as fast as money's coming in, it's going out just as, as quickly as well. Or there could be some unexpected bills coming up during the month for you. Or you or maybe you've got already got um, something that you need to pay out for that you already know about. That you're already trying to think, I've got to pay out to sort the car out. Or I've got to pay out some insurance money or I've got to pay out in taxes or I've got to pay a vet's bill how am I going to do that and having to juggle money around in order to pay for for something else this is this is on on your mind you've got got money and responsibilities on your mind and sort of how you're going to to juggle that around but again you whatever this is there's things that you're going to be successful in um as well so don't worry it's something that you will get done and it will happen so don't worry about it too much but there is this juggling going on and trying to stay in balance with things we've got the six of pentacles in your unconscious things coming around that you don't yet know of or have not quite become aware of yet um 
so the six of pentacles is all about staying in balance as well um some of you there could be a new job for some of you um and you're having to juggle things around to fit family life around the new job or um the, around the new responsibility that you've got um and you've been successful you've been successful in getting the job or you've been successful but now we're having to juggle things around to make everything everything fit um very <sighs> complete complete balance um going on and trying to stay in balance it's it's very much like the 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 two of pentacles um being being generous as well there's a generosity there with this card let me put that down because my arm <laughs> The arms ache. I think what it's saying is if you if you're feeling out of balance with the two of pentacles and wondering how you're going to get things done, don't worry about it because when the six of pentacles comes in, it means that you come into balance, you find the balance, you find that money from where you need to find it to pay out for what you need to, you get it sorted out, um, you're successful again, as as with the, the ones card at the beginning, and you've got the magician there saying blessings are being bestowed on you maybe if you have trouble finding something something maybe you do get help from a friend maybe you get help from a family member um, maybe that extra work that you put in at work the um, overtime money comes through for that in order to pay for something um, and eventually getting that balance um, and that's going to make you feel quite generous as well there's going to be a generosity as well there with you which could help your social life with things so maybe because somebody's helped you you're going to help them um and it's give and take maybe give and take within a relationship um but it's a really nice card coming in for you and finding that balance now saying all that we've got the tower which completely is the opposite so this is definitely referring for the ones of you that are having some sort of awakening that I mentioned at the beginning if you're going through some sort of change of belief system or change then the tower comes in the tower clears everything from your foundations in order to start again you're obviously not in the right place at the moment you're obviously there are things that need to change within your life and karma and the universe and you guys and your angels come in and say, right, you've not made a decision on something. You've not changed it. Um, or something needs to be dealt with that you've not dealt with yet. Um, and now you need to deal with it. So that comes around for you. Um, and for some of you, this is like, a, I, I really feel like it's a full awakening for you where so many different parts of your life are being destroyed to be rebuilt and a belief is being destroyed to be rebuilt again. Um, maybe some of you have found, in a good way, maybe you found love. You found that perfect union and you realise that and that's going to rock your world that's bound to change things within within your world something it's it's a shock to you um that comes around and it can change your whole life for others of you because there is there is balance here and that but for others of you this just could come out of the complete blue and you end up um it just throws you throws you for a loop feeling feeling shaken feeling insecure something that happens suddenly which again sort of rocks your world it could be just a run of bad luck for you it could be just indicating that you go out and you forget your car keys or you get to the shops and you do your shopping and you've forgotten your money or 
your water mains breaks outside your house or the car breaks down or um you you've got a vet's bill that comes in that needs to be paid it could be it could be little things like that um but for some of you there is it's major it depends on how what the scale of severity is during the month for you for this this to happen um making you question the way you are making you question your beliefs about something and it doesn't have to affect this i mean if this is something that shakes your belief or is making you question them you've you know other parts of your life are still going on you've still got your balance with your money and you've managed to sort out and you've had success in something um but something there's one either all areas of your life or one area of your life is going to be shaken in some way and make you relook at something and i feel for most of this is like for some of you this could be like dark night of the soul stuff going on and maybe you can keep everything else going and keep everything in balance as much as you can but this disturbance is going in it's it's going on at the same time for some of you you have to let me know on that one that's quite a strange thing to come in and it it does go together with this card your overall advice is don't play the victim don't think of yourself as being the victim in something um or a situation see the magic in things don't take the magician card as a challenge embrace the magician and see the magic of things see that you've got the power to change things if you want to and put things into action if you ignore the the challenge of the magician and putting your focus on things then maybe with the tower card you do end up feeling like the victim to a certain extent for some of you check out your rising sign and your moon sign to get some extra clarity this month or if you need a personal reading um i think we're looking at two either two separate situations that are going to come into one um or i'm looking at two two sets of scorpios here because there's a lot of messages messages coming through with it so it's lost its anxiety um being possessive about things being overly possessive about things so not being all that generous So I almost feel like this for some of you should be in the reverse position of not being all that generous um learning things knowing that whatever's going on if you have a tower moment this month then you the the lesson is that is to actually learn from that and what it's doing it's it's trying to put you into balance and it's trying to put you on the right road and on the right path so be grateful and see the blessings within that situation learn the lessons from that situation of what's going on and don't feel victimized and don't feel sad and don't feel any sort of of loss now when we come to the eight of cups this is people around you or situations around you there is one situation around you or one person around you that is walking away that is leaving now this could be a relationship for some of you it might be this two of cups here the relationship that you thought it was it's like the honeymoon period has died off dies off during the month or you or they find out something that they're not willing to put up with and they walk away or they think about walking away it could be that it's a job um redundancy something along those lines um but some somebody is giving a situation or a person is giving up and just saying sack it i've had enough i'm 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 going um 
For some of you, it could be that you find out a friend or a relative or something is going to start a new life. And it's that simple. So they're moving away. They've got themselves a new partner. They're getting married. Um, and the situation that they were in that they were not happy about, it may not be anything to do with you. They're just turning their back on it and walking away from it and doing something doing something different. Um, it could be that they're just simply going on holiday. It doesn't have to be anything completely deep and, and meaningful. It doesn't have to be anything to do with you. It could be a, a situation or a person in a situation or a person's life that you know that's changing, but it's not necessarily anything to do with you. But for some of you, it will be something to do with you. It will be directly related to you. So again, two different ways of looking at it. If this is a person that's walking away from you, be careful of not trying to hold on too tightly. Let them go for the moment. If you let something go, give them the freedom to let go. Um, if they're meant to be with you, they'll come back again. You have to give them that freedom to choose. So your hopes and your fears for the month is the Four of Pentacles. So again, for some of you, it's holding on to something too tightly, um, not wanting to let go of something, but knowing or not knowing that the harder you try and hold on to something, it ends up like grains of sand in your hand. It just slips through your fingers and you will lose it anyway. And you will lose it quicker the harder you try and hold on to something. So whether... And it comes in with the tower moment, really. If you're trying to hold on to a belief, if you're trying to hold on to a person, if you're trying to hold on to a situation too tightly, you will lose it quicker. Um, if you try and hold on to it. For others of you, for those of you that embrace the, the, the magician, know that you can turn things around and know that you can be successful all month, not just at the beginning of the month with the six of wands then you've got security there. You've got things that are going well for you. You've got that sense of wealth. You've got that sense of, of things are good. Um, things are happy for you. Um, but this, I think for a lot of you, try not to hold on to anything too tightly um, and make sure that you are generous with things. Don't get too miserly about things. You, you know, in that, in those situations people or situations do give up and walk away unless you are giving in in some way if they're doing all the giving and you're doing all the taking then that's an expected outcome that would come around i'm sorry i'm being blunt for some of you uh this doesn't apply to all of you but i'm just being saying it in in the most honest way that i, I can do not every single reading is, is sunshine and roses. You've got, it's like, it's like you've been given, for some of you, you've been given a chance to do something or to have something. Then maybe not appreciated it or maybe not, once you've got it, you don't want it. And so it's gone, it goes. But at the same time, being jealous and greedy or, possessive and trying to hold on to it it's a real paradox with this card i say for others of you that it's going well this month you've got wealth and you've got security and you're feeling good about things and you're feeling good about yourself um and you know that you've you you can see the magic in other things so you're going to have to take it you're going to have to see how your month plays out this month to see how these cards apply to you because there's a double meaning with, with quite a few of them. Um, and I still think a lot of you, there is a huge, some huge change in, in belief systems or something for you um, that you didn't didn't know or didn't want to to know before and it starts to become this tower comes in and it's and it and it changes things for you. And we've got the eight of wands, which is the outcome card so this is this is life getting fast paced this is things moving quickly this is a lot of activity 
going on in your life this is and it stands for your root chakra as well and imagination and dreams and goals and wishes um bringing satisfaction into your life getting happy about things looking for making a real effort with trying to find um a new job or a change of job or more money coming in for something so again things things coming things coming in quickly for you things happening very quickly i said it would be quite a sociable month for you um but for some of you as well be careful that things that if it goes with the tower and it goes with the four of pentacles about holding on to things too tightly and things slipping through your fingers and disappearing people walking away situations breaking down that's going to happen quickly for you it's going to happen very very quickly and you need to be aware of that it might be that some of you end up in a position where you just have to accept the way things are by the end of the month you haven't taken action on the magician there may be options and things that you could have done during the month to avoid certain actions or avoid certain people acting the way they act during the month but you you didn't have that the success that you have at the beginning of the month will change by the end of the month unfortunately for some of you with that tower card if that apply if the tower card applies to you by the end of the month and things that you thought were solid were not as solid as you thought they were. So the success at the beginning of the month is is only short-lived for some of you. So we've got a really positive reading or we've got a not so positive reading, depending on what happened. Let me, the best thing to do with this reading, because it's going two ways, is to watch it at the end of the month as well so that you can look back on your month and to get a better picture of whether it went well or it didn't go well for you yeah at the end of the month because that's that's the the outcome outcome card um be carefully giving too much as well if you're in a position where something comes in and you're being very very generous um, with others and you're feeling generous and you're feeling fantastic just don't let other people take advantage of that fact if you're having success and it's and the tower's not for you and and things are going really well for you and you're feeling secure and you're feeling wealthy and you're feeling generous just be i want you to be aware of don't get disappointed by being generous with somebody and then them not um not coming back to you with generosity or or blessings in it so right i'm going to take these cards in let's see let's just have a general overview um and let's see what's going on over the rest of the the year for you i'll bring them out in two sets of three so that we can we can see them clearly right july is looking excellent so far <laughs> with one card um, we've got the sun card so the sun is everything is likely to to be free flowing you're feeling free you're feeling wonderful things are good things are going really well for you um, you're probably going on holiday or vacation taking a trip somewhere going somewhere sunny and just feeling that sunny disposition whatever if you do have a bad time in june july is is really good for you you should be feeling healthy happy um and content next card we've got is the queen of wands queen of wands is august um and the queen of wands is saying it's very fertile it's a very fertile card be careful <laughs> if you uh don't want to make babies because there may be babies um going on or making babies in august there could even be news of a birth in august for you um 
or this could be just somebody who's who's a literal person that comes in into your life um they've usually got blondish hair or lighter colored hair they've got really good energy they're really positive they're really kind they're really compassionate um and they're really fat they can be really fiery as well so be careful not to get into an argument with them or this could be you feeling like this um being really good friends with somebody being on somebody's team being solid sticking by somebody um being supportive towards somebody else um so again a really nice card compared to to some of you in june right when we get into um september september is the eight of swords so that's feeling trapped in something that's feeling i'm stuck in a situation that i can't get out of or you are holding yourself back from something maybe you're holding yourself back from somebody emotionally maybe you're holding yourself back from a situation um that you're not sure that you want to be involved in or it can be generally trapped within a situation or trapped with a person that you can't can't get out of so you're holding yourself back from something or you're stuck in something with this card when it comes when it comes up um if it's a job situation you've got the power to change your job you can do something don't feel trapped in it if you're feeling trapped in it um for others it's it's like you're really thinking about changing a job or changing a relationship changing some situation either because you're feeling trapped in it or you're not wanting you not wanting you're holding yourself back from it so it could even mean in a relationship you finally give in and, and say yeah I do I do love this person I do want to be with this person and having a change in belief sets as well and going that way or going the other way and saying I'm feeling trapped in a relationship I don't actually love this person and I want to get out of the relationship so two ways for that one right so that's july august september um and then we've got october november and december so october two of wands keeping your balance keeping everything in balance keeping your love life your work life everything it's going to be really important for you at this at this time to keep in balance in every way that you can be careful of if you get out of balance you could get run down um talking a uh, colds feeling tired getting run down so make sure that you're in balance make sure you're being fair about things um up your health i want to say up your health regime with this make sure you're getting plenty of sleep make sure you're eating in the right things drinking enough water doing all the things that are good for you paying attention to yourself and nurturing yourself in order to stay in balance um and get through the get through the month in in one piece <clears throat> and then we've got the ace of cups in december so this is all about somebody offering a cup of love to you or you offering a cup of love um to somebody else saying i love you saying i want to take things further saying um you know new beginnings in things or new beginnings in your life starting for you maybe moving in with someone getting married being in a relationship if you've been single for a while um an existing if you're you know in a committed relationship this is a deepening of that relationship this is things getting better this is things improving being on the same page almost almost going through the honeymoon period again for you so that's really nice and it can, and it doesn't have to be love it can be all areas of your life but it gives you that good emotional feeling that there are the chance of things or things are getting better things are improving so december is a really good month for you this year so that's just a quick overview of the rest of the year i hope you enjoyed it i hope it all resonates with you let me know how your month's going in june um 
I hope you all don't have a tower moment. I hope it goes the opposite way and you embrace that magician. So take care and I will speak to you soon. Bye.